again. It's really nice to uh, to be with you. Um, thank you for, for joining us. Um, got a few pictures to show you, a story to tell, and then I'm going to try drawing something that I'm not very good at drawing. Um, but thank you so much for those of you who have, who have been watching and been doing some painting or drawing and sending your pictures in. Um, we'll have a look at those now. Um, I get my uh, my whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully on here we should appear some lovely rainbow pictures uh, rainbows and and an ark Noah's ark and various animals Lydia has drawn for us painted for us uh, thank you Lydia that's lovely uh, and Martha's done a huge beautiful strong rainbow there there's one from Martha Edward has sent one now Edward has sent his picture from Oslo um, Oslo is um, in Norway, so that's, that's, that's brilliant. Thank you for sending that. And Emily has sent a picture, and that's lovely. Oh, thank you, Emily, for that. And Simeon um, hasn't drawn a picture. He's found a picture to colour in, but cleverly, um, he's got this beautiful picture of, um, of nature, of trees and all God's creation, but he's coloured it in in rainbow colours which is a really clever way of, of putting the rainbow into a picture. And thank you for all those uh, lovely pictures. Um, and Edward, um, the Noah story is all about rain, but I noticed in the background of the photo you sent me, it was snow. You were absolutely covered in snow. So uh, Norway, I suspect, is, is full of snow, isn't it? I've never been. But bless you, thank you for sending the pictures. So, well, this week it's Jesus visiting the great city of Jerusalem. And I, I told this story. Jesus had made his way to the great city of Jerusalem. He'd always wanted to visit there and he went with his friends. He'd travelled a long, long way. He, he went and looked around at everything there, but most of all, he wanted to see the temple that stood in the centre of the city. The temple where people would come and gather from all over the world to say their prayers to God. So he was very excited when he went, made his way up to the temple. He went up the hillside that went towards the great gates. He went through the great gates and then he looked around and saw everything that was there and his heart sank. He suddenly became really sad because it, instead of people sitting around reading their Bibles and and praying and, and caring for one another. He just found the whole place filled with animals. Yes, there were, there were sheep everywhere. Meh, meh, meh. There were goats. Bleh, bleh, bleh. There, were, there were doves and, and pigeons. I, I can't do a pigeon. There were, and there, 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 were, there were being bought and sold. They were. There were men there sort of changing people's money and, and it, as Jesus watched to see what was going on, he could see that people had, had turned the whole place into to a marketplace. And they were, they were saying to people, you must buy the best sheep, uh, otherwise God won't hear your prayers. You must buy the best goats, otherwise God won't hear your prayers. Meh, meh, bleh, bleh. You must buy a pigeon or two. Boo, boo, boo. Or, or a dove, maybe. I can't do pigeons. And you must have the right sort of money. You can't have your, your normal, everyday money. You, you must buy special temple money. And, and it'll cost you a lot of money to buy money. It was, it was madness. And Jesus actually got quite angry by it all. And he decided he was going to do something. So he, he made himself um, a, a, a whip, really, um, out of some cords he found on the floor, some bits of old rope. He made a, he made a whip and he, he suddenly decided to get rid of all the sheep and all the goats and all the and all the doves and the pigeons and he he didn't care about everybody stood around he started chasing them out cracking his whip behind them and, and chasing the sheep out meh, 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 and chasing the goats out 
Chasing the pigeons away. I can't really do pigeons. Until the place was cleared and he threw all the money on the floor. And then everybody was looking at him, thinking, what's he doing? And then he took a deep breath and he spoke to everybody there, some of whom were really angry and others who were really confused as to what was going on and others who were really interested in what he had to say. And he said to them all, I came to this temple in the centre of the great city of Jerusalem and I thought it was going to be a place where people said their prayers to God. It is supposed to be a place where people say their prayers to God, where people gather together in the love of God. But I find you've turned it into a, a marketplace where people are buying and selling things and making money for themselves. This is not how it should be. This place should be where we pray. And with that, he left. Maybe followed by the odd sheep, meh, or the odd goat, bleh, or indeed the odd dove or pigeon. I can't really do pigeons. Now, I'm not very good at drawing uh, sheep, but I'll give it a go. Um, round head, an eye, some sort of ear, and then and then just lots of wool around and um, uh, oh, legs, obviously. Uh, I can't remember what sheep's feet do, but I always draw the bottles. And I think they have knobbly knees, don't they? Knobbly knees. Oh, a, a smile, better put that in. Oh, and a tail. I don't think that's a tail. Um, that's a sheep. Um, goat. Well, they're more like a dog, aren't they? Their head's, their head's slightly different, like that. Longer face, longer face. I know they're funny goat eyes. Oh, and they have horns. Sometimes, maybe the horns go the other way. I can't remember now. That sort of thing. And then they're more sort of, oh, there, that's, that's, that's not too bad. Um, uh, sort of, um, what happens here? Oh, that, that, that's a bit odd. And they're, they're more who... If I do a couple of legs, that might help. Yeah, you'll need more than one, more than, more than one leg. Um, a smile, maybe. <laughs> and they're a bit shaggy, aren't they? So maybe some, some shaggy bits. Especially, oh, the goatee beard. Ah, I don't know what happens at the top there. Do they have a tail? Goat's tail? Um, I should have I should have researched that. That is a terrible, terrible attempt at a, a sheep and a goat. Um, maybe maybe you can do better. I can't really uh, do animals very well, but I was trying to fill a market full, uh, marketplace full of sheep and goats, and I say I can't do pigeons. I can't do pigeons. Uh, more like a duck, isn't it? Anyway, see what you can do. See if you can do better than me. Um, uh, maybe even a bit of colour in there. But um, up to you. If you want to, um, it'd be lovely to see your attempts at uh, drawing sheep or goats or. Or, or, or pigeons, or doves. I can't really do pigeons. If you could send them to me, uh, that's great. I mean, another thing you could do, um, if if you if you have your parents' permission, is maybe you could try and and impersonate a sheep or a goat or or indeed a pigeon. I'd love to see your uh, your little attempts at being at being a pigeon or a, or a dove or a, an animal. Just one little tip. Uh, Sheep tend to smile when they make their noise, so yeah, meh, very big smile. But but goats stick their tongue out and go lower, so you stick your tongue out. And, you can have fun um, all week annoying 
other people trying to make the difference between a sheep meh, and a goat bleh. but anyway it's it's good that you've um, been able to watch and, and share together god bless you know that jesus loves you and that you are held in the love of god in everything you do um, i'll maybe see you again another time and i look forward to seeing what you've been up to okay bye then bye